Hello, and welcome to Dreambox Learning. This brief overview will answer the question, how do I monitor student productivity and get the most out of my Dreambox family dashboard with my home subscription? Your family dashboard will provide you with insights into your child's learning, as well as highlight important learning milestones. Our insight dashboard translates thousands of data points per hour per student and turns those data points into information and insights that are instantly available, actionable, and easy to interpret. You can see how much time your students have spent on Dreambox, how many lessons they have completed, and how many standards they are progressing in, as well as how many they have met. You can look at the date range you would like to view by utilizing this drop-down arrow. Now let's look at the information included in our overview tab. Here we see the student overview report. This is a comprehensive snapshot of your child's progress with Dreambox. There is a key at the bottom right hand part of the page. The boxes that are light green are presumed proficiency. Boxes that are dark green reflect the standards in which the student has demonstrated proficiency by completing Dreambox lessons. The black growth arrows show what your student is currently working on based on the growth over the selected date range. The white areas in the chart represent available lessons that are growth opportunities for your student. Here, we can see what your child is currently working on. You can play a demo lesson if you would like to see what the lessons look like for your student. There's a key at the bottom of the lessons. Under the status column, a green circle with a white check reflects that your child had completed the lesson with proficiency. A half blue circle reflects that the lesson is in progress. An orange triangle indicates that a student may need some attention with this lesson. Let's look at the activity feed and discuss the orange triangle symbol. The activity feed is the second tab from the left. Each activity card provides insights into how the student understood the lesson. The activity feed has the most recently completed lesson on top and the history will be displayed moving down the screen. Each lesson card will describe the math lesson. The icons on the right shows the demonstrated understanding with the lesson. The symbol correlates with the statement under the title. When we see the gray check mark, it communicates that the student has completed the lesson without demonstrated understanding. This is not a concern and even expected. It lets us know the student completed the lesson and Dreambox has serviced some unfinished learning and will adjust the next best lesson accordingly on the lesson pathway. If you see an orange triangle, that alert may indicate that your student could benefit from support. Although we try to have Dreambox completed as independently as possible, if you see this orange alert, Dreambox is communicating to you that there is a sticking point. If you choose, you can play the lesson from your activity feed and have a math conference with your student. For more tips on how to guide your child through a math conference, please reference the Tips for Engagement and Productive Struggle video resource. If you click on view progress in the lower right hand corner of the activity card, you will access the standards report. Our standards report is the third tab from the left. We can see what standards students have mastered, are in the process of learning, or haven't started learning yet. If you look at the grade bands across the top of the report, you will be able to click on different grade levels and see your students proficiency in all these grade levels. When looking at the report, you will see the math concept as well as the proficiency. If there is a dark green circle, the student has demonstrated proficiency on the math concept. If the circle is empty, the student has not started the math concept at this time. And if the student is half full, the math concept is in progress. The percentage that you see when in progress reflects the percentage of the math standard completed. This percentage is not a grade. The usage report is the fourth tab from the left. The, this provides information on how much time the student is spending in Dreambox learning math per week and the number of lessons a student is completing per week. Home subscribers 
have the option to strategically use the Dreambox Assign Focus feature to create short-term and long-term assignments. These assignments are automatically differentiated to provide opportunities for additional practice or to assess understanding. Please note, Dreambox Learning will automatically present the next best lesson for your child as they move through their learning pathway based on the data gathered by the Interactive Intelligent Adaptive Engine. You do not need to assign lessons. If you would like to assign lessons, you do have that option. Students can have two assigned focus lessons at one time. You can create assigned focus lessons utilizing the standards report or the assigned focus tab. When reviewing your student's progress in the standards report, if you would like to address a particular skill, you would click on this blue calendar icon to begin creating an assigned focus lesson for your child. Once you have clicked on the blue assigned focus icon, you will be able to choose a short term or a long term lesson. Short term assignments would be one to two lessons over one to two weeks. These are really useful as quick spot checks. Long term assignments can be set for two to 10 weeks. These are useful for progress monitoring and ongoing learning. After you've selected the lesson, you then select the assignment duration. Finally, click Add Assignment. The Assign Focus lesson will appear on the lesson chooser. Please notice that your student still does still have all those lesson options. Dreambox does not mandate that your student will complete the Assign Focus lesson, so you may want to remind them to complete it. Students will access this lesson by clicking on the Assign Focus icon from their lesson chooser. You will be able to see how your student is progressing with the lessons by looking at the status column in the Assign Focus tab. The Assign Focus lesson will end when your student has completed with proficiency, when the duration of your lesson expires, or it will end because the lesson was just too difficult to complete at this time. When we look to the far right, we can see more information. The details heading will show the progress for the long-term assignment. These check marks show the demonstrated understanding for a short-term assignment. If you'd like to view the progress report for your long-term assignment, please click on this icon. This graph will be displayed and you will be able to see the proficiency that your student completed this mathematical standard. Thank you for reviewing the Dreambox Family Dashboard. If you have additional questions, please visit dreambox.com forward slash support.